Hello and welcome to this Adobe Express lesson all about the Ancient Olympics. And today we're going to present five facts about the Ancient Olympic Games and we're going to use AI to generate some of the images for us. So to start with I'm going to press the plus in the top left and I'm going to go down to landscape. Now you will have already done your research and you found five fascinating facts about the Ancient Olympic Games. Um, so I've got my five facts ready, so I'm just going to start by adding those as text. So uh, I'm just going to go to text on the left, and I'm going to go to add your text. Uh, and then I'm just going to type in my first fascinating fact. So there we go. I'm just going to reduce the size of my text by grabbing one of these circles in the corner. Uh, and I'm just going to place it somewhere on my page. Uh, now I'm going to do the same for my remaining four facts. I'm going to go to text add your text and I'm going to type out each of my five fascinating facts. So there we go, I've got my five facts. Uh, I've got a fact about the first Olympic Games being held in Olympia in 776 BC. Um, a bit of information about how the Olympic Games was a religious festival as well as a sporting festival. So the fact that the games were held in honour of the gods Zeus. Um, and in fact, as part of the games, 100 oxen were sacrificed in honour of the gods Zeus. So that's quite an interesting fact, a bit of a shocking fact. Um, and I've included some of the events that would have taken place in the ancient Olympics. And I've also talked about what the winners were awarded. So I've got my five facts, um, but I think it'd be fun if we generated all of our images using AI. So we're going to have to use text prompts and we're going to have to try and get them quite accurate to our five facts. Um, so I'm going to start with this one here. The games were held in honor of the gods use. I think this might be a nice, interesting central image. So I'm going to go to media. Uh, and instead of uploading or searching for an image, I'm going to press here where it says text to image. Uh, I'm going to go for a square. I think that'd be a fine size. Uh, and in the box here, I'm going to write what I'd like to see. So I'm going to put the ancient Greek god Zeus and press generate at the bottom. See what comes up. So there we go. I've got four different options. I could press load more if I want some more. Uh, and I think I might use this as a sort of big central image for my work. Here we go, I think this one looks pretty good. Uh, I might just make it a bit bigger, maybe have it poking out the bottom there. Um, and what I'm gonna do actually, if I uh, select the image here, I'm gonna remove the background of Zeus. So it's just his head there. Brilliant, uh, I think that's looking pretty good really. So there's our Zeus. Uh, now I'm gonna do the same thing. I'm on media, text to image, and I'm gonna generate an image for each of my different facts. So we'll do one more together. Uh, winners were awarded an olive branch crown or a jar called an amphora. So we can have a go at this one. So on media, I'm going to press text to image, uh, press square, and let's put ancient Greek athlete wearing an olive branch crown. I'm going to leave these styles as they are. Mine's on art style, and I'm going to press generate. So there we go. I could choose some different options, or I could press load more, but I'm pretty happy with that one. Just going to reduce the size a bit. Probably remove the background of this image as well. So if I just go up to this arrow here, go back, and I can press this remove background button with this happy looking doggy on it. Uh, there we go. Um, I might now go for, let's go for text to image again. Uh, I'm going to go for square and I'm going to put an ancient Greek amphora jar and press generate. Let's see what comes up. There we go. That's what we want. Kind of jar thin at the top with two handles. So um, I might go for this one. That looks pretty good. Again, think I'm going to remove the background. So click on there, press remove background. And I can just place it next to this uh, winner here wearing his uh, olive branch crown there. So now there we go. I can go and add all of the rest of my images in using text to image AI. So there we go. I've got my five facts, each with an image which I've generated using text to image AI. Now I think we can just add a final background image here. Uh, I'm going to use AI for this as well. So I'm going to go to back to text to image. Uh, going to go for widescreen this time because it would sh I want it to fill my whole page. Uh, and I'm going to go for an ancient Greek Olympic stadium and see what we get. There we go. Lots of nice options here. That one looks pretty good. Uh, might go for this one. I quite like the arch there. Um, so I'm just going to select the image, press this back button here. Uh, and I'm going to press this button that says set as page background. There we go. So it fits really nicely, but of course it's very, very busy and hard to read our text. So what we're going to do, we're going to play around with this background image. So for example, reduce the opacity, bring that right down. Uh, might even add an effect, make it grayscale maybe. 
There we go. So it's just faint in the background, but it really gives us that ancient Greek Olympic feel. So finally, we can add a title to this. So I'm going to go to text on the left. Uh, we're going to press add your text and we're just going to put ancient Olympics. There we go. Uh, just reduce the size maybe. Let's put it up here. Now we want to play with some fonts because obviously at the moment it's just on the default font. So it's the font that we started with when we opened our project. So I'm going to select the text here. I'm going to go to recommended fonts, see if anything quite nice comes up. I might go to view all, uh, see what I can find. This looks quite nice. There we go. I think that's a nice font. Uh, fits in with our sort of ancient theme. Uh, might just rotate it slightly like that. Obviously, I can play with the fonts of the text around here. So for this, I'm just going to select that fact. And I'm going to go to where it says Source Sans 3. That's what font it is at the moment to so the style of text. Press the drop down button and I can choose a different style. There we go. That's a nice style. Uh, and I can do the same for all of the remaining facts. So there we go. I think that's looking pretty good. Uh, I just want my title to stand out a bit better. So I'm just going to add a little shadow to it. So I just select the title there. Go to shadow. Uh, might play with the color of the shadow maybe. Uh, maybe choose sort of a bit of a warmer color. Uh, kind of matching that map maybe. There we go. I think that's looking pretty good. Um, what I might do finally is just add a little element, a little design asset. So I might put an olive branch and see what comes up. And I could just choose one of these uh, to go into my work here. So there are our five fascinating facts about the ancient Greek Olympics. When we've got an image which we've generated using AI to support each of those facts. So when you're done, uh, you can give your project a title uh, and I can download my work. So I could press download. I could download it as a PNG or a PDF, whatever I like really. Um, or you could share it. So you could press share. Uh, you could share it to Google Classroom or Microsoft Teams or put it into your Google Drive. Or we could just press publish to web uh, press publish link and it will give us a link which we can share with whoever we like. So there you go. There are our five fascinating facts about the ancient Greek Olympics. And now it's your turn to do a little bit of research and find your own facts and present them on a poster using some AI images.